Hello everyone, my name is Quinn Knight and welcome back to the channel and today we actually have a quite a bit of news to cover including a new update on Geonosis, a new clone trooper community transmission and a whole lot more. This was actually intended to be the only upload for the day but then some news dropped this morning I just had to cover so you guys are getting two videos for the day, definitely the first double upload in a long while. But let's start off with the big news, Geonosis, which Ben confirmed this morning over on Twitter, is already being playtested. He said DICE had a playtest today and the map is looking glorious. If the map is already far enough along that they are playtesting it, it must be near completion. I know the map is going to be released in less than two months, but from what I've heard from Ben on Reddit and Twitter, I definitely didn't expect the map to be ready until like a couple of weeks from release. That just seems to be the way DICE has been doing things lately. It was just a few weeks back that Ben confirmed Grievous wasn't even fully finished yet and he is coming out next month. Obviously a playtest doesn't mean the map is 100% complete, but if they're already checking for bugs and making changes that small, it must be really close to being ready to go. Hopefully we'll see a screenshot or a small preview of the gameplay in the coming weeks, although I don't think we saw anything from Kessel or Crate until really really close to release, but who knows, DICE seems to have little to no system when it comes to releasing content, they just throw things at the wall and see what sticks. On the subject of Geonosis, I am not going to lie, underneath all the hype, I'm very very nervous to actually see the map. I really hope it's as big as DICE has said it will be because the expectations for a lot of people are through the roof. They've said in the past that it's their biggest map yet and I'm not gonna lie, I also have some high expectations right now. If they made three unique Clone Wars vehicles just for this map, it must be something special, at least I hope so. I'm also hoping that we don't have to deal with Wookiees on Geonosis, fans have been really really adamant and really pushing DICE to make some sort of replacement for the Wookiee Warrior on Geonosis as they make less sense on that map than they do on others so I'm really really hoping they can come through on that one but only time will tell and as the reveal gets closer I can't help but get more hyped and nervous all at the same time. Next up a small update on our boy Obi-Wan Kenobi. A fan over on Twitter asked Ben how Obi-Wan was coming along and whether or not he could provide us with an update on the progress and Ben actually replied saying that he has been enjoying hearing the Obi-Wan dialogue that Dennis has been sending his way and he can't wait for us to see what they've been working on and hear the dialogue for ourselves once we're a little bit closer to the release date. I know for me, Obi-Wan is the hero I'm the most excited for by far, so I absolutely cannot wait to see DICE's take on him. It doesn't surprise me at all that all the dialogue has been recorded, I only wonder what version of Obi-Wan we're going to be getting. It hasn't been confirmed, but from Twitter and just a general assumption, it's very likely that James Arnold Taylor will have provided the voice, so I wonder if he's going to act like Clone Wars Obi-Wan, or if they're going to mostly stick to prequel dialogue and memes, and the same goes for Anakin. Personally, I'd like to see a mixture of both, maybe they can strike a nice balance and I'm very much looking forward to getting that experience for myself. It still seems surreal that in two months time we're going to have Obi-Wan Kenobi, Grievous, and Geonosis all in the game as well as three new vehicles and new appearances to use. It has been so long since we've received any new heroes or really any sizable content at all that I still just can't even imagine Grievous running around on Yavin 4 or Takadana but it's happening and I can literally feel people getting more hyped in the comment section. For those of you who have still been having problems getting online to play matches, first off I am sorry about that and I think it's completely unacceptable that those of you who paid for the game can't even access 95% of the content. But second, Ben did confirm there are further fixes coming to this issue with the next update, which drops on the 25th of September. I really wish they would actually consistently fix what they say they will in their updates. It's gotten to the point where when I see something has changed in the patch notes, I take a bet with myself whether or not they've actually fixed it for real. I think Darth Maul's saber throw was quote unquote fixed six different times before it actually worked properly and even still it's wildly inconsistent. Vader's force choke has seen changes nearly every update but it's still one of the buggiest abilities in the game and don't even get me started on Luke's repulse but hopefully they get the ping issue right this time so for those of you who can't play and are having issues can actually get online and play the game you paid for. Next up it looks like the dev team over at DICE is about to film their first video in their new Battlefront 2 series. Ben has mentioned this several times over the course of the past few months and he said they'll actually be filming their first episode tomorrow. I am very very happy about this and I hope it actually offers some true insight into what exactly goes on over at DICE Sweden. I know the amount of time it's taken the team to put out certain content has a lot of eyebrows raised, not only in this community but from the gaming
gaming community at large, so I would love to hear more about the setbacks they face, and most of all, I hope they actually answer some of the hard questions and don't just answer the easy things. It's definitely gotten a lot better lately, but there was a long period of time where none of the important topics and game issues were ever addressed, they were more so ignored, yet unimportant subjects and memes were acknowledged every day, so we knew they were listening, but they just won't talk to us about the important things, and while that has gotten better, there is still a lot of room for improvement. I want to know exactly what the future of this game truly looks like, how many developers are still working on the game, and most importantly, what DICE is planning after the full Clone Wars content has been released. I think a lot of players are already looking that far ahead, and as of right now, we really have no idea what is planned or what is happening. I think this video series could be the best thing to happen in a very long time to the community, or it could just end up being a huge waste of all of our time. Only time will tell, but consider me currently optimistic. I also wanted to show you guys something that I found really neat. A PC user actually found a model of C-3PO in the game files, and ended up creating a little mod that has Chewbacca with C-3PO on his back. I know that's an appearance that has been heavily requested by everyone, it's one of the most requested appearances in the entire game, and while this is just a super rough mod someone threw together, I find it really interesting that DICE has a C-3PO in the files at all. I don't remember him being in the campaign, and he's certainly not anywhere in the multiplayer. There are a few protocol droids I believe in the multiplayer scattered around some of the maps, but definitely not C-3PO. I'm not sure what he's doing there at all, but man, I still really hope to see that skin in the game someday, especially if they can add some C-3PO dialogue, because I would pay any amount of credits to get my hands on that appearance. I still haven't bought any of Chewbacca's skins, as none of them really appeal to me, more than just the base appearance. Finally, I need to clear up some confusion about the Darth Maul skin leak. If you missed the video, I posted this morning, an image was posted over on Reddit showcasing a skin called Crimson Dawn for Darth Maul, which will apparently be releasing on the 25th of September to coincide with the Blu-ray release of Solo. This leak came from an anonymous source and has a lot going for it. The same thing happened with the Leia Bausch appearance, an anonymous source made a claim, no one from DICE commented on it, and then boom, they announced it officially a few days later. Not to mention, the image looks flawless and while it absolutely could be a fake, there is nothing yet to suggest it is. Where the confusion came from was from another completely unrelated leak from some other guy named Blackwing that's been saying all sorts of outlandish stuff over the past week that I chose not to cover as it was really far-fetched. I think at one point he said Mace Windu was coming to the game and other things of that nature, and some people laughed it up, but most people called it out immediately. Anyways, earlier this week he claimed Ray Park had been to the studio to record new lines for Darth Maul, and everyone instantly called him out on that. I don't think anyone believed the guy in the first place, but Ray Park is not the voice of Darth Maul. Even in The Phantom Menace, he doesn't provide the voice. Sam Witwer has provided the voice for Maul in pretty much everything other than Episode 1. He was even in Solo, so if someone is going to be recording new voice lines, which Sam Witwer has already confirmed he has, it's going to be him, not Ray Park. But anyways, Ben did fully debunk that on Twitter, saying that Ray Park has not been to the studio. I just wanted to clear that up, they are completely different leaks from entirely different sources. I totally understand the confusion as the same day an image is posted showcasing a new Darth Maul skin, Ben debunks a line of BS about Ray Park. Anyways, I'm not saying the other skin leak is 100% confirmed by any means, but so far there has been no evidence it's not entirely legitimate. It looks great, the same exact situation happened with the Leia Bausch appearance, and it all lines up with what else has been said, but it's definitely not confirmed, it might be happening, I, honestly the leak looks good to me, but we will have to wait and see. Either way, I just wanted to clear that up in case there was some additional confusion. Before I end the video, I did want to ask you guys guys which of the four Clone Wars heroes you are the most excited for. Like I said earlier, Obi-Wan is definitely my choice, but I feel as though that might not be the most popular opinion, and I'm especially interested in how much love there is for Count Dooku. I remember at EA Play when they announced Dooku, it was almost dead silent in the room. I think it was more because they announced him after everyone else and people were already hyped, but it definitely seems as though he is the least anticipated, and we also have the least amount of information on Dooku, which may be part of the reason why. He was never a hero I thought we'd see in Battlefront 2, but here we are, and in only a few short months, we will be able to play as him, which I still cannot believe, and I cannot wait to create a new season of How to Not Suck for the Clone Wars Heroes, as I know a lot of you have been patiently waiting for a new video in that series. I get hundreds of comments every week, and believe me, I hear you, and new videos will be coming soon. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you could leave a like on this video before you leave, I would definitely appreciate it, and if you aren't already subscribed, make sure you do that, as we have been growing like crazy lately and I would love to have you as part of the team. Thank you guys once again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.
solo, I'm on solo. 